I will. Delete! 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 The Beast Animal. Beast Warriors of all ages. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, guys? What we got here today, man. WWE Slam Crate, man. We're going to unbox this shit right now on this channel. Um, I wanted to go over some a couple of things. The reason why I haven't been here for a while was one because I was on a Norwegian escape cruise. Um, one of my my but my buddy Adam, uh, he posted part one vlog on that. I'll leave you a description to his channel and I'll leave you a, a link to that uh, vlog that he posted. So yeah, a shout out to my buddy Adam. Um, his channel is Adam Gropper. Um, space AG53, go give him a, his subscribe to his channel, he does vlogs too, and that's what I'm going to start, start doing on this channel, um, channels like Rams210, um, Miranda Grace Massey actually inspired me so much to do vlogs, and that's why I want to start doing vlogs, and I want to spread the word out there with the vlogs, because I want to start doing that stuff too on YouTube, and people on YouTube like Miranda Grace Massey, and Lance 210 inspired me so much to do vlogs too on my channel. That's what I'm going to start doing also. So I want to give a huge shout out to Lance 210 and also Miranda Grace Massey. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing vlogs on this channel. So thank you to two of those uh, YouTubers that inspired me to do vlogs. And also, um, my uh, buddy Adam Gropper, AG53, has a vlog on his channel from our new Norwegian Escape Cruise. Part 1, which he posted, and um, he said that Part 2 will be coming next week. Basically, he told me that. But once Part 2 comes, I'll let you guys know. And um, also, I will leave you a link to his YouTube channel and the video uh, that he posted. And also, I will leave you a link to uh, Miranda Grace uh, Massey's channel too. And I'll also leave you a link to Lance210's channel too. Three great YouTubers on YouTube that inspire me. So yeah, um... What we got here, man, WWE Slam Crate. If you guys don't know what WWE is, WWE is professional wrestling. The number one wrestling industry in the whole, the, the number one wrestling industry is WWE for sure. As you guys are asking what shirt am I wearing right now, what I'm wearing is the Hardy Boys. Now, the Hardy Boys are a wrestling tag team in WWE, the greatest tag team of all time. They made their WWE return in Florida. That is where my childhood Days as a wrestling fan return in Florida because the Hardy Boys are back and the Hardy Boys deleted most of the tag team division. So anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get to this right here. All right. Let's see what we got today in the slam crate. Ooh, looks like we got something good in here. wonder what it could be, man. Let's check it out. Looks like we got some, uh... Oh, wow. Looks like we got some socks. What socks did we get in here? We got socks that says follow the buzzer. So we got Bray, we got socks, Bray Wyatt socks. Oh my god, man, you know how creepy this is going to be wearing this shit, man, the pub in public? I say I wear these as, like, slippers or something. These look like slippers. I, I, I just might as well wear these as slippers, for God's sakes. But yeah, we got the Eater of Worlds Bray Wyatt socks, man. It's hilarious. Fucking awesome, dude. I love that shit. Alright, what else we got here? I don't know what this is, basically. Let's see. Um... WWE Slam Crate exclusive, I believe. Yep. Is this a t-shirt or something? Or is this a... Oh, a foam finger? We got a foam finger in here. What foam finger can this be? I wonder what it is, man. It looks like a foam finger. It should be. I'm surprised that if it's not a foam finger, that'd be kind of weird in my opinion. If I can get this thing open. Let's see what we got, man. A foam finger, I believe. Uh... The new, the new day, new day. We got a phone finger, the new, a new day phone finger, man. That's hilarious. It is pink, by the way. God dang, bro. <laughs> and also, we got a pin right here. And it is too sweet. We got a World Heavyweight Championship pin of NWO. Too Sweet. Oh, yeah, man. NWO for life, man. The Wolf Pack. Hell, yeah, man. That's great, man. I love that shit. That's awesome. What we got here, we got like a... 
That's like a magazine, man. Of WWE stables right here. We got D-Generation X. If you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Suck it. Break it down. D-Generation X, man. Also right here, we got Sasha Banks, uh, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Bailey. We got uh, Xavier Woods, Big E, Kofi Kingston. And right here, we got DX. Yeah, man. If we open it up, you'll see the more stables right here. It's actually in color, not black and white. Uh, right here, we got the Wyatt family, basically. Um, that's basically what we got in here. Uh, we got pictures of, I think, uh, John Cena and the Wyatt family's feud. We got Bray Wyatt with some goon right here. I don't know who the hell he is. Uh, John Cena jumping on the Wyatt family. We got uh, Bray Wyatt doing the spider walk. Then we got the Wyatt family right there. Um, Bray Wyatt giving Sister Abigail to Roman Reigns, a.k.a. No Man Gains, because Roman Reigns doesn't gain nothing in the ring. Uh, we got Roman Reigns, uh, Dean Ambrose, and Bray Wyatt right here. And then we got the Wyatt family. Uh, this is the Wyatt family versus the Shield, which they had a feud at Elimination Chamber. And I know the Wyatt family's won most of the matches. The Shield only beat the Wyatt family one time in a six-man tag. The Wyatts beat them like three or four times, I think. Can't even freaking count. Right here, man, we got the Hounds of Justice. We got the Shield, man. We got Roman Reigns, a.k.a. No Man Games. Well, Roman Reigns was great with the Shield. I actually like Roman Reigns when he was with the Shield, but after the Shield broke up, Roman Reigns went to shit. We got Seth uh, Rollins right here, and we got Dean Ambrose. Uh, explain to you about the Shield. I think the Shield will get back together. I think Roman Reigns needs the Shield. The only way that Roman Reigns will get shit is his face if he has the Shield with him. There you go, WWE. Right here, the Shield right here. And then you got the, the uh, Dean Ambrose and uh, Roman Reigns right here, basically. Uh, you got Triple H and um, Roman Reigns right here. Uh, you got Batista, Triple H, Batista right here, aka Drax Destroyer. You got Triple H right here. You got Randy Orton, and then right here you got the Evolution versus the Shield feud, basically, um, which was pretty good. I just wish the Evolution won one of the matches. They should have. Uh, right here you got these great legends right here on the back. I th is that Chris Benoit? I just saw for some funny reason. I thought I saw him right here. Wow. Oh, right here, I think I know some of these guys. Uh, yeah, well, Ric Flair went right there. Uh, yeah, it's Ric Flair, if you can ask it to see, it's right here. Some other great legends. I don't know, some of them I can't tell. Basically, but yeah. Right here, we got, uh... Hmm. Alright, I think this one is, uh... I don't know some of these names that well, but I know, I know, uh, Ric Flair. Uh, this is the Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't know what years this was. We got great legends like, uh, oh, Brian Calton, uh, Kurt Hang, and, uh, I think other WCW people, this is some WCW, these people are in some more in WCW. Oh, uh, we got the New Day. New Day rocks! New Day sucks! I know, it's fun, yeah, man. Right here, man, we got the New Day, and right here we got Booty O's. They make sure... You ain't booty. I know, man. It's too corny. It's too corny. I know. New Day, longest reigning tag team champion. They beat the record of Demolition, um, which was Axe and Smash Demolition. Freaking legends, bro. And they and the record got broken by the New Day. I know. If I ever won tag team gold with somebody in WWE, oh, I'm sure as hell we'll make sure we break the New Day's record for sure, man. Seriously. I hope we do for hell. For the hell of it. Right here, you got Stephanie Mick, Mick, my on, according to what Matt Hardy says. Mick, my on, or should I say, Miss is Queen, Mick, my on. Then we got, uh, Seamus in the, we got Seamus in, I think it's Kofi Kingston. We got the New Day and Kevin, uh, Xavier and Kevin Owens. We got the ice cream truck, whatever the frick he did. New Day at WrestleMania, and then you got the New Day right here. I don't know what the hell they're doing right here, but whatever. Um, we got right here DIY, Tommaso Ciampa, and, Ta and Johnny Gargano. They were freaking great together. I don't know why WWE had to break them up so freaking quickly. Guess I can do everything like that. We got the feud with the uh, Authors of Pain and, and DIY. And we got uh, Johnny Gargano right here with uh, some member of Authors of Pain. I don't know what the fuck his name is. We got the Revival versus DIY, which is a great freaking tag match, by the way. Uh, NXT TakeOver, uh, was it, uh, uh, what is it? NXT TakeOver, uh, 
It was Canada or something like that. I think it was Canada or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, Canada. Maple Leaf, man. I love Canada. Canada is great. I would love to visit that. that. I, would, I, would, I would love to visit Canada one day. It would be glorious. Just like Bobby Roode says, glorious. Just like that. Right here, we got the four horsewomen. We got Sasha Banks right here. We got uh, Bailey. We got Charlotte. And we got Becky Lynch right there. And then we got all the most of the four horsewomen's matches right there, as you can see. And then we got the NWO, man. Too freaking sweet, man. Too sweet. NWO, man, for life. Great fashion. I like the NWO, but I still hate Hulk. I still hate Hulk Hogan. Okay? I still hate Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Sucks. There you go. I don't like Hulk Hogan. I never did as a little kid, and I never will like Hulk Hogan into the from now into the future until I die. I'll never like Hulk Hogan. Because Hulk Hogan is awful. Just like Roman Reigns is awful. Right here you got the NWO. Uh, right here you got uh, the Hulkster. Hulk Hogan, I can be the American. Fuck off, dude. Uh, I hate Hulk Hogan. He sucks. Scott Hall right here. We got Kevin Nash, I believe that is. Yep. Um, right here shows NWO's feuds. I think X-Pac did join NWO at one point. Uh, Shawn Michaels was in the group too, I believe, also. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. I had a picture on my lip right here. I had it, like, scratch. Sorry about that. Who be scared? Well, you be crazy, man. Whatever. I don't care. Alright, uh, NWO right here. Uh, th this is one saying we want to inject a little poison into WWE. That's what Vince said. Of course, Vince makes the company poison most of the time. Yeah, right here, we got the rest of the NWL. So, yeah, Shawn Michaels, right? We got the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ah, I, I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. We got uh, X-Pac right here. We got Scott Hall right here, man. Too sweet. We got, it's all about the game and how you play it. We got Triple H. And then we got Kevin Nash right there. And then right here, we got most of the, uh, we got Scott Hall right here, and I think that's, uh, Kevin Nash right here. And then you got NWO and Shawn Michaels right here, which is the Hall of Fame they reunite, the most of the group. And then at the end, we have D-Generation X. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Suck it. Break it down. D-Generation X. Yeah, I know. I love that group. One of my favorite facts. One of my favorite facts of all time. D Generation X. People were thinking D DX is basically only Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Nah, uh, uh. There was a group of DX. You had X Pac, China, Billy Gunn, Road Dog, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. That was DX. The, the team of DX with only Triple H and Shawn Michaels is only from. Was only when it was in the modern era of WWE and some of the uh, ruthless aggression, a little bit, basically. Right here we got WrestlePin exclusive. Um, right here we got the exclusive stuff right here, which is pretty freaking nice, by the way. Um, and also we might get a poster right here. It says Sanity. Uh, you got Sanity right here. Um, I think it's like uh, questions or whatever. Um, I can read them to you. What are some of the advantages of being part of a stable? Playing the, the numbers game. Always someone to watch your back. And then what makes Sandy so formidable? Unpredictable. What is your collective goal? Control chaos. If you can have any superstar from any time to your ranks, who would you add? Andre the Giant. You are all very intense. Imitating individuals. What do you do to relax? We... Can only relax after a purge. What are your favorite stables in WWE history? DX. I like you, Sandy. I like you. Thank you. DX is your favorite stable of all time. Thank you. I like you, Sandy. I seriously do. No homo, Sandy. I love you, Sandy, for saying that. DX is the greatest uh, stable of all time. It's not the NWO, guys. It's D-Generation X. And if, you want, if, if, you have, if you have a problem with that, then I got two words for you. Suck it. There you go. Which stable would you like to battle? Any and all. Okay, let's say you battle the Broken Hardys. Let's say you br battle Brother Nero. 
and Broken Matt. Let's see them do that. How great that would be, man. Now, Broken Hardys versus Sanity, man. Well, what state more attacking do you look up to or feel like you are aligned with? Past or present? There, there's nothing like us anywhere. Never has been. Well, guess what? You never were DX before, so maybe DX. If DX was still around, Sanity, you would get your ass kicked. Just letting you know. But whatever. Alright, fast facts. What are you doing right now? Whatever we want, Savage. Current favorite song? Uh, stick to your guns against them all. Is that like heavy metal or something? Because if it is, that's awesome. Thank you. Because I like heavy metal music. Favorite lyric? Down on your hear, down on your knees, you won't look so tall. Favorite exercise in the gym? Battle ropes. That's pretty cool. Favorite guilty pleasure? We don't ever feel guilty for anything. Favorite TV show and or movie? Uh, Walking Dead and The Purge. All-time favorite WWE superstar. Eric Young, Shawn Michaels, Alexander, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I like you, Alexander. No homo. Stone Cold Steve Austin is your favorite wrestler. I like that. My number one favorite wrestler of all time, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm a San Antonio Spurs fan, and, and, and they're from Texas, just like Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Because Austin 316 says I just whooped their ass. Awesome. Alexander is a fan of Stone Cold, man. That's great. Killian, uh, Fit, Fit Finley, and Nikki Cross. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nikki Cross, I love you. I love you, Nikki Cross. Stone Cold Steve Austin, your number one favorite wrestler. And so is mine. Thank you. That's great. Wow. That's awesome, man. Hidden Talents. Uh, drummer. Uh, he says, D.Y. Uh, Alexander. Violent, done, uh, Nikki Cross punching people in the stomach. That's cool. All right. How often do you wear your title belt waist pack? Not often enough. Okay. We got a poster here. And what poster did we get? I don't know how to say it. Is it a hotel? Lean the Delta Shield. That's right, man. We got a poster of the Shield, man. Believe in the shield. Will the shield be back one day? I think they might be. I, I can see it happen. I think the shield will be back together, man. Sorry for the glare, but we got a poster of the shield in this month's WWE Slam Crate. Also, we got more, guys. The video's not over yet. It ain't over yet until I say it's over. We got more stuff right here. What else did we get, man? We'll save the uh, t-shirt for the main event. What we got here is some kind of... Um, Looks like a one by two, some kind of a uh, figure thing or whatever it's called. Let's see what it is, man. This looks freaking cool, by the way, man. That's right, man. This is what you get. This is all from WWE Shop and WWE Slam for that I'm getting right here, guys. Awesome. All right. All right, what do we get here? Wow, we got a... Uh, we got, right here we got, the game Triple H. It's all about the game and how you play it. Because I am the game and I want to play. We're going to set it up. We're going to set this up right now, guys. And yeah. Hope you guys like it. Right here, man, we got the sledgehammer. Triple H is a legend. Is, has been a legend since day one using that sledgehammer, man. Freaking great. So yeah, guys, look at this, man. This looks freaking cool, by the way. Look at this shit, man. The ro ring ropes and all that, man. Holy crap. That's freaking beast, man. This is freaking beast. For freaking sure, dude. I don't, I don't get how you do it. I gotta figure this shit out. Real quick. Just give me a second, guys. These look pretty cool, by the way. I don't know how to get this set up, but whatever. I'll get it figured out. Oh yeah, one of these goes here. There we go. Then the other side right here. Then these go across, I believe these go across, I think. Oh yeah, like that, there we go. The normal wrestling right now goes across. Freaking insane, man. Look at that so far. We got it almost done. 
My second title. Oh, yeah, the way you think it's so lonely. Alright guys, so it's done now. Alright, so far it's done. Now I gotta get this thing on. However the hell you get it on, I don't freaking know, but whatever. I think it's like this. And then right here, man, we got the game. Triple H, man, with that sledgehammer, man. It's gonna be freaking cool, man. There we go, man. Triple H, he doesn't play around, man. That's why he's got that sledgehammer, man. He would take your ass out with that shit. <laughs> Look at this, man. Right there. We got the game Triple H with that sledgehammer, man. Triple H looks like an ultimate motherfucker, man, with that sledgehammer, man. It's all about the game and how he plays it. That's why they call him the game Triple H for sure, man. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. That's right, man. Freaking, freaking brilliant. Brilliant. Just like Matt Hardy said. Brilliant. There you go. And what we got here, man, we got the main event of this unboxing video. We got a t-shirt. What t-shirt did we get in this month's Slam Crate? What did we get here? It says, oh my god. Legit boss. We got a Sasha Banks t-shirt, man. Freaking phenomenal. What size did they get? Did they get my size right? Okay, they got a... Uh, yeah, it's a large. Yeah, a large is fine. That's cool. There we go. Legit boss. Sasha Banks. So, yeah, guys. There's your WWE Slam Crate unboxing. What we got this month's crate is we got Triple H with the sledgehammer. We got the little ring thing. Uh, we got uh, a book that has all the stables in it from, from WWE history. Uh, we got the... Uh, Bray Wyatt socks right here. We got the uh, New Day phone finger. We got the uh, thing that's uh, yeah the poster of the Shield. We got right here. Um, we got the um, the w the World Heavyweight Championship with the N uh, W O logo on it. As you guys can see, it's uh, the words are uh, upside down and the white reverse. It's stupid, but uh, yeah. Uh, we also got. Uh, a Sasha Banks uh, t-shirt right here. Uh, let me flip it over. It says, yep. Sorry about that. Oh, God. I don't know how that is. Right here. There you go. And also, we got the, uh, got a box design right here. It's got, a uh, it's got the DX logo right here. Um, other logos, New Day, probably the Shield. So, you got just, uh, the box is on with all the faction logos, the WWE Tag Team faction logos, basically. So, yeah, guys. Um, that is basically all. This is basically it. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, all the links I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the shout-outs, all of that will be in the description, everything. Um, also, my Twitter and Instagram is at the Beast Animal underscore... Uh, my Snapchat, MLB0919, um, also, and yeah, Patreon in the description, guys. I will be back tonight for WWE Great Balls of Fire, live reaction, and also I'm working on a vlog video too, by the way, so I hope you guys enjoy all that, plus so much more on this channel, and then I add, around the middle of August, I have an announcement to make, so yeah, in, in regards to my future on YouTube, in regards to my future on YouTube, which will be, um, I'll be talking about it next August, so which will be in August, uh, next month, around the middle of August, I will make my announcement on YouTube, which will regard the beast animal's future on YouTube, and, um, I'm just gonna say a little bit what I'm gonna say. It's, uh, I got, in the video, I got a little, I got good news, and I got some bad news. Just want to, um, note you guys on that, just let you, notify you guys on that. So, yeah, so, it, it, it's basically going to explain to you, um, what's going to be going on for me, and the rest of the summer, and the winter, and my future on YouTube. Um, so, yeah. 
So yeah, stay tuned to that video, which will be in August, in the middle of August. So yeah, um, just want to let you guys know that right here, right now on this channel. Also, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video right here with the beast animal right here. Also, and I hope you guys enjoy your day today. And I'm out, I'm out, guys. And I hope you guys enjoy your day today. And yeah, and everything I said will be in, in the description down below. So go, um, go check that out. And also on um, the shout outs too, and also everything else that I leave in the description, um, guys. So yeah, I'm the beast animal. And this is the Beast Animal Show. And also, I'm the Beast Animal, a.k.a. Deleted Beast Animal. Because I was deleted by Broken Matt Hardy. And I got the shirt on right now. Matt Hardy, my favorite... One of my favorite wrestlers is Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. My number one favorite wrestling tag team of all time. Number one, the Hardy Boys. There you go. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day today. And yeah, peace out.